Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' about to react to this video. This is Ariana Grande breaks down her iconic music videos. Okay, let's watch. My rocket titties made their debut here. Girl, what? I use them all the time, uh, personally, but they publicly made their debut in this video as well. They're very useful, though. Hi, Laura. It's Ariana Grande. And today I'm going to be breaking down some of my I love this look. iconic videos. Even though it's hidden. By the, the way, face. they told me to use the word iconic. I didn't assume that. <laughs> I don't so, like this song. This video was directed by the young astronauts by my friend Nev, and she and I collaborated <laughs> on this concept. <laughs> I really love the 60s. Oh, I've always she loved was? that era. For glamour, Probably for wardrobe, for aesthetic, film, choreography, everything. The dancing scene in this video was actually inspired by Sweet Charity and the wardrobe. It's pretty almost identical. But yeah, I really, I love that era. So we had a lot of fun dipping a toe in here. And then I never kind of dipped any toes out for the rest of my life. Also, I love Iggy's glam here. I loved her makeup. I loved Why her was hair. She here? It was funny because my ponytail in this scene was actually not that high or teased. And like five minutes before we rolled, I was like, this looks too. Ugh. And then I just went in the mirror and I just grabbed it and I was like, like, what, like this? And I brought it up really high and I. Sort of, okay, we don't need a bunch of memes of me going like this anywhere, but it's okay, it's too late, so f it. Um, <laughs> You're wrong, be me. This is one of my favorite videos. This one is Break Free, directed by Chris Mars. I had the time of my life shooting this video. Mm. I loved this makeup. Chris Buckle did this makeup. Put a bunch of stickers from Michaels or something on my face, and they yeah, definitely weren't supposed to be there. I think Delina did this hair, and Johnny Wojek did this wardrobe. It was a beautiful, fun video. I've always loved vintage interpretations of space and like what the future looks like, but in the 50s or 60s, I always thought that was so cool. Big That's what this look fan. is doing now. You have obviously, now. I continue to channel her as much as possible there's a really cool deleted scene on the internet somewhere where we recreated the who shot first scene from star wars which was really fun as well mm. my rocket titties mm. made their debut here i use them all the time uh, personally but they publicly made their debut in this video as well they're very useful though Love Me Harder 2014 featuring The Weeknd. This was our first time collaborating. It was really fun. This concept like this didn't feel very personal to me as I'm sitting in an old chair and some sand and I end up in water for some reason. I'm dressed as some sort of whorish kitten. I, I love the look in it. I love the look. I kind of gave up the reins here. I was just kind of like, go for it. Uh, and then I really, I really fought Hannah for the kitty ears. I'm really glad that I did though, because I really like them. <laughs> I think it would have felt almost too serious without the ears for me. I'm talking to you. See you standing over there with your body. So this is Side to Side featuring Nicki Minaj 2016. We were going back and forth and back and forth about what should this concept be. And I remember I was on the treadmill thinking and listening to my playlist of what was becoming the Dangerous Woman album. And I got to side to side and I was like, why does this feel so fun to listen to on the treadmill? And I FaceTimed Hannah and I said, we should be on Soul Cycle Bikes. And she was like, oh, I'll call you back. And then pulled together all these dope visual references. She was like, you and Nikki have to be in the sauna. I don't love the look the, with the lightings and the stringy bra thing but i love the other ones i love the one on the bike the one in the leggings feels like i was forced into it i probably was <laughs> this one is no tears left to cry 2018 directed by dave myers this was a really fun video simply because of how much preparation went into it 
the rotating set that we had to build to create the first scene took so long to get used to and we rehearsed the day before and it was so much fun. I pitched Dave this idea of sort of multiple fields of gravity because of a game I was playing at the time called Monument Valley on my phone. I told him how much I love Escher stairs and stuff like that and we sort of mushed everything together and created the sweetener, what really was sort of like the centerpiece for the sweetener album and era, which was this sort of play on being upside down and not knowing what is right and what is up because also personally in my life at the time, I was sort of upside down and not knowing where the ground was and not feeling very grounded or okay. So yeah, I felt like that was a really nice, cool way to visually represent what I was feeling during those moments, really. The fashion here is really fun. I loved the polka dot umbrella I dress. Those boots, I really loved that. I remember feeling so joyful in that. This was styled by La Roche and mm. I loved these looks. I think they're so much fun. That's a rope. That's a rope. God is a Woman 2018, also directed by Dave Myers. This was such a fun video to do. This was Glam by Ash and Josh and Styled by Mimi Cottrell. This one was so much fun because obviously there are so many beautiful ways to express femininity and what it is to be a woman and there's so many things to lean into as far as paying homage to art that already exists and also creating our own so yeah we had a lot of fun with this one of my favorite moments is probably when i'm fingering the earth loved that a lot i also loved uh recreating the moment the michelangelo moment at the end because i was able to tease that we were putting that in this video at the Met Gala when I worked with Vera Wang on my dress. I like that connection to me. That was that felt exciting and I felt giddy knowing. And then I love that sort of watercolor that I'm swimming in in the beginning. I think it's so beautiful. Alexa Mead did that art on my sort of face and hair and boobs and in the water as well. That is not random paint, it's not a pool, that's for sure. Good to know. This is Thank You Next from 2018. I loved this video so much. The funny thing about this is that we were working on the breathing video. Hannah and I were in New York filming the video for breathing. Breathing kind of was like the tail end single of sweetener because it kind of life thrust me into the thank you next album era i didn't have any plan of moving on that time anytime soon but i kind of had to do that album as an artist to feel better and i really was ready to move on and we were working on breathing and i was like oh, we have to recreate all my favorite scenes from all my favorite movies and make the thank you next video like next month we have to do it and she was like Holy shit. Like, nobody is more right to do this with than Hannah. She turned something that felt so torrential. She was trash. She liked this. In my life, into bar? something that felt fun and light, at least while we were doing it and while we were making it. And uh, what I got to share with the world felt, you Bring know, it on, sure. right. And, and beautiful. Playing Regina on. George was really fun. Playing Elle Woods was really fun. Playing Jenna Rink was a dream come true. I couldn't believe it. Jennifer Garner even reposted it, and I love her so much. I loved being able to work with Jennifer Coolidge on this. She actually recreated all of her looks from. She's Regal. making this very boring. Positions. I, I this. love this video so much. I love this glam. I love this styling. This makeup was by Manthony, <laughs> and my hair was by Josh Lou. I'm gonna head up. I understand she's going over the technical details and stuff. Maybe there are people out there who's interested in this. 
I mean, clearly this video is doing really well, but this is boring. <laughs> like, girl, talk about the emotions you were feeling at the time or tell some funny stories about what happened on set or something like that. Add some entertainment. I mean, you could still go over the technical details, but add some something to it as well for people who don't give a fuck about the, the details like me. Um, I, I think it's good to have a nice balance. You know, she could have definitely done both. Um, and I have seen her in videos before where she uh, is really funny and um, showcasing her personality. So it's unfortunate that she didn't do that in this. She's just really going over the details of, oh, this director did this, this person did my hair. And like, girl, okay, I don't care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little surprised that, you know, she just stuck to that strictly. It's like, okay, I would want these details if I'm trying to shoot a, a video and I want to uh, reach out to these people. But uh, I'm not. So, yeah, didn't expect that from this video. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought, though, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.